to 130 pounds, where I believe the best fight of the early 21 schedule exists. And we're going to have it on ESPN February 20th. It's Miguel Burchelt putting up his WBC title at 130 pounds against the undefeated former featherweight champion in Oscar Valdez. Remember, this fight originally was supposed to be in December, but then in late November, a COVID positive test for Burchell. Dre, we saw another world champion at 130 pounds who had a COVID positive test, whose legs didn't look so good in the late rounds in Jamel Herring. Do you feel that that's a factor in this fight now that it's rescheduled for February 20th at all? Well, as we all know, over the last 10 months, you know, there, there's still so many questions, you know, looming around COVID-19 and the effects of it. Some people seem to come back fast. Obviously, we've unfortunately had many, many deaths over the last 10 months. And then, and then some people do come back like Jamel, and they say that I felt it in my wind. My lungs weren't quite the same. I hope that's not the case. Uh, Burchell, I think, tweeted out that he had went 12 rounds for the first time a week or so ago, and uh, he seems to be ready. On paper, you have to favor Miguel Burchell based on the last one or two performances from him and Oscar Valdez. But I'm not ready to write off a guy who is championship pedigree. I know he's in between styles. He's trying to figure out the style with Eddie Reynoso, if he's going to box, if he's going to slug. But a fighter with that kind of pedigree like Oscar Valdez, they always got a great fight in them. And my question is, is that going to be against Miguel Burchell? Timmy, I want to offer this when we size up this fight. I believe there are certain fights and certain fighters that when you put them in the ring, you know exactly what it's going to look like. This fight is as high a confidence as I can tout in knowing exactly what it's going to look like. Well, Tess, when you have two Mexican warriors, because that's what they are, two Mexican warriors, they're going to be fighting for supremacy. They're going to be fighting for Mexico. That's what they're going to be fighting for. Mexico, the king of Mexico at 130 pounds. Burchell Valdez. But let me say this, please. Let me say this. Valdez, okay, he had an issue. He moved up this way to this weight class, and guess who came to see him? It was Shakur Stevenson. Now he avoided Shakur Stevenson now. He would have got peppered if he would have fought Shakur Stevenson. Now he's going into the ring against the baddest 130 in the world. Third chill. Now, he can be damaged goods after this fight. I'm letting you know right now. I'm picking a knockout win in Burchell's favor. I, I'm Let me go back to the fact of what you just said, Andre Ward. You said, hey, this last performance, he didn't, look too, he didn't look too great. You know, he didn't. I saw a guy turn in from this beast into a counterpuncher. Now he's fighting more off the back foot. Now he's trying to take his time and set up his shots. That's not his style. And that's what's going to happen in this fight. He's going to try to fight out at distance, and that's going to be wrong for him. Burchell's going to find him. He's going to hurt him, and he's going to finish him badly. This could be career-ending, a career-ending fight, I believe, for Oscar Valdez. I'm not ready to say that. I see that. I know that that can happen, of course. And, and like I said, you, you have to favor Miguel Burchell based on what you've seen over the last two fights from both guys. And I said that live on air. I said this Oscar Valdez won't beat the Miguel Burchell that we're seeing right now. And I, I stand on that. But, but I've been around the game long enough to know that a fighter with that pedigree who has a good team, Eddie Reynoso, he's around, you know, a great champion in Canelo Alvarez. Don't underestimate a guy like this because he could have a night.